Yes, guys, how are we doing? It's Spurs Live here, and we're back with a new video right here, or a new live, more, more, more or less. Um, yes, so without further ado, we'll get we'll get straight into it um, just now. Give us a minute, and we'll be back in about 30 seconds. So we're going to go for a quick 30-second uh, break. So come on. Yes, guys, how are we doing? We are back with the new live. Um, it's going to be an absolute cracking, cracking. What am I trying to do right now? It was going to be an absolute buzzing. It's going to, this is going to be a great live. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. We've got a lot of news coming up um, right now in the in the, in the, in the Spurs community um, after this lovely weekend. You know, it's quite quite a nice weekend. Very, very nice weekend. Um, but anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the um, actual news of Tom Hotspur. So we'll start with a couple of questions um, that everyone wants to know um, about, you know, let's start with, Let's start with some DJ Spence or Jed Spence. So I th I'm pretty sure it's Jed Spence, not not DJ. I think Jed Spence news. Um, what are we talking about? You know, there's been a lot of news over the last couple of days regarding Jed Spence news. Um, yeah. So um, but beforehand, uh, let's just say hello to a couple of people who we've got here um on here. So we've got um Mofjel, uh, Bastoni, Gradio, Torres, or Indica. Um. Cool, cool. Bang question, mate. Fantastic question. Um, I'm gonna answer you. Uh, just drop, drop a subscribe if you can. Uh, but I will um, answer you. I think it's, uh, in my opinion, I'll take Bastoni because right now we need someone. I think Bastoni's absolutely amazing player. Um, Gradio's also insane though. Torres is, is 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 a backup for the Bastoni, so I'm not really sure on his part, point of, of view on the transfer, but, and Indica, not going to lie, don't know who he is, and don't really care, because I like Bastoni, Bastoni's a fantastic player, and I take him, um, afterwards, I think probably Gvardio, can't pronounce these Tottenham Hotspur players' names, I mean, Tottenham Hotspur link players' names, I can't pronounce them, anyway, thanks for the question, Mo, Mo Joe. I hope you guys, you, you're subscribed to the channel, um, and yeah, without further ado, let's carry on with the, with the news, so, um, as we said, um, Hello, Mojo. Um, what's up? How are we doing? Comment down below who's watching so we can give a hello to you, um, to you too. Um, so before we just start the video, um, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, um, just so we can understand. Um, and yeah, so to Jed, Jed Spence, um, what's happening with Jed Spence uh, regarding Tottenham Hotspur uh, and news? So um, we obviously we heard from um, we heard from his who did we hear from? We heard from. I'm trying to bring it up now. We heard from oh my god, who did we hear for? We hear we we hear we heard from um boss or Bo boss, yeah, boss Chris uh, Wilder. Is that how you pronounce it? Chris Wilder, yeah. Chris Wilder said, uh, we're expecting that deal to happen. Oh, exciting, exciting stuff. A deal should happen, according to the boss. Um, Chris Wilder says, uh, we're thinking that deal to happen. Tottenham want him and we're prepared for that, but it's going to be right for us too. Um, wow. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. What have you guys got to say about that? You know, um, I, 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 I'll bring up here very, very, very quickly about exactly the, those quote, quotes, what the boss said. Um, but, you know, that's, that's very interesting, I must say. Um Let's just bring it up here. That's exactly what he said. He said, uh, we're expecting that deal to happen. Tottenham want him and we're prepared for that. But it's going to be right for us 
two. What, what, what have you guys got to say about that? For me, I feel like Nottingham Forest want the deal to happen. And Tom Hotspur want the deal to happen as well. So um, why don't we just get the deal done? I mean, he's a fantastic player. I mean, the only thing that he hasn't done yet, he hasn't proven it in big games. I mean, yeah, in Arsenal he proved, he proved a little bit, a little snippet of what he can do. But he hasn't proved it in a big, big league. Can he, if, will, will he be or can he be another Ryan Sessegnon? You know, player who... It's taken a long time to develop, and I'm scared that we're going to splash some money out of him uh, on him. And you know, ten mil for that Donny is quite quite a fair amount. I mean, we're talking about Nottingham Forest. I mean, their their valuation of the club is really low, and we're paying them ten mil for Jed Spence. Ooh, I, I don't know. I don't know what you feel about it, but again, he can be. You know, Jao Cancelo. You know, an outstanding player that no one heard of, but just becomes unbelievable. Um, Actually, I, I just bought uh, Jao Cancelo out of nowhere. I don't know. Sorry about that. But it, it, can he just become, a, you know, an outstanding player? But, or would it be a Ryan Sussignon? You know, it, there's a big debate regarding that. But, yeah, so just go over it one more time for the new views. Uh, we've got five views. Thank you all so much. Make sure you subscribe. We expect that deal to happen. Tottenham want him, and we're prepared for that. But it's going to be right for us, too. Interesting quote from boss Chris Wilder. Um, so, yeah. Um, then we got some uh, Tangin Dombele news. Um, I must say, um, and Dombele has been very, very lively in the past couple of uh, days regarding his news. Um, but we've got the latest news from <coughs> last words on Spurs. On Spurs, they said Tottenham Hotspur have accepted uh, Galatasaray's loan with an option to buy proposal for Tangai and Dombele. Playing 91 games for Tottenham, and Dombele contributed to 19 goals with 10 goals and 9 assists. Um, yeah, very interesting. What have you guys got to say about that? About, you know, Tangai and Dombele. He only played, he played 91 games, to be fair. Not only. He played 91 games. That That is quite a fair amount. I mean, it's not it's not a little amount. Um, I, I will just put it up here so everyone, also, everyone else can hear see as well. Um, you know, what do you, what what have you guys got to say about that? You know, playing playing um playing ninety one games and contributing to how many to to nine uh, yeah contributing to nineteen goals in ninety one games. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's a little little bit little bit weird. Not gonna lie. Um, don't know what I think about that. What we got? We got bad. So yeah. What what what's people saying? He played 91 games for, for Tottenham and Dominic contributed 19, 19 with 10 goals and 9 assists. That means, I mean, I'm pretty sure his assist came in the in the conference league, in the, in, yeah, in the conference league, and then against the low block teams. But I mean, I don't like the player. I think Ndombele really, really needs to move on, get away from Tottenham Hearts, but it's not good for him. It's not good for Tottenham, not good for them both. And you know, if, if, if last word on Spurs said Tottenham Hearts have a great Galatasaray loan with an option to buy a proposal for Tangai and Ndombele. Uh, that's interesting because I will be more than happy for uh, Tango and Dombele to go um, to wherever he needs to go to, you know, up upgrade his career. And, you know, I'll be happy if he goes to Galatasaray um, with an option to buy proposal, obviously. Um, and, yeah, I'm not sure how much the, 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 buy, the buy proposal is. Um, I'm going to try and look at it. But, um, yeah, it's not that there's not much big news regarding that. Um, yeah, that's really it. I mean... They're just saying Galatasaray has agreed the the, the the terms, but there but there hasn't been official confirmation on, on the price yet regarding uh, Tangay and Dombele. Um, so yeah, that's really it for Tango and Dombele news. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that Tango and Dombele news. But we're going to move on um, swiftly to uh, latest news regarding uh, um, Richarlison and Rafinha. Um, I mean, a lot of people know what I feel like about Rafinha, and I feel like he's an outstanding player. Um, and um, if we do sign him, that would be absolutely insane from us. Um, I really rate um, Rafinha high. I, I, I think he's a class player, and I think he can do so much for Tottenham Hotspur if he does um, sign. Also with Charleston, but I, I think with Charleston can go for a little bit less money, um, and Rafinha can go for much more, but it will be worth it. Uh, it will be interesting to see how Tottenham Hotspur can um, improve, in obviously, um, with their attacking formation. But we'll get on to it later about how, to, how Tottenham Hotspur can uh, deal with so many attacking players. But um, latest with Rafinha and Charleston news, not much news regarding um uh, regarding with Charleston um obviously with Charleston will be 
uh, Rafinha's um, um, back uh, backup um, if we don't sign Rafinha. Um, but um, yeah, that that's really it regarding Rafinha. Uh, of, Arsenal have been linked with Rafinha and uh, they're very, very close in uh, completing a deal for Rafinha. Uh, Rafinha, 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 I don't know how you say his name. Um, but um, yeah, just think about this. Um, yeah, it, it, it's going to be an interesting, uh, um, you know, link between Saka and Rafinha. But, you know, screw the scumbags, you know. If they want, they can have Rafinha. I don't care. But I want Rafinha, though. That's the thing. I want Rafinha. A lot of fans don't want Rafinha, but I want Rafinha. Um, Leeds are on the verge of accepting Arsenal's offer for Rafinha. Payment structure in, is the focus of discussion. Personal terms, not an issue. Rafinha asking for 150k per week. And Arsenal, happy to accept uh, that's final stages. Arsenal have Jesus Muhammad in their squad next season. Be aware, opponents treble coming to the Emirates. I don't know. I don't know what they're on about. These gunners. I don't know. I understand what they're on about. These gooners. Um, yeah, that that's really regarding Rich, Richardson. Um, and I, I I genuinely think Richardson over Finia. Sorry, I genuinely think Richardson will come to Tottenham Hotspur. It'll be interesting to see um, if Tottenham once again sign both of them swiftly. Moving on towards that. We will be talking about can Tottenham actually sign both Rafinha and Richardson? We will get onto that question in about 60 seconds. So let's have a break for 60 seconds and we'll be back. Yes, guys, we are back. Um, can Richardson, though, sign um, for spot Tottenham Hotspur alongside his mate Rafinha? They both are Brazilian, if I'm in, not mistaken. Um, but can they both actually sign for the Lily Whites this, see this summer? Um, it'll be an interesting um, type of trout if they do sign. Because let me explain to you why. If we do so, sorry, if we do sign both of them, then that means we'll be having Stephen Bergwijn say Stephen Bergwijn does not leave Tottenham. Um, Stephen Bergwijn, Lucas Moore, Harry Kane, Son Shimin, Kulisevsky, Richardson, Rafinha, possibly Perisic, if Perisic goes up. Um, we also have the likes of, um, yeah, eight players. Are you mad, fam? Come on, eight players. No, no, no. We've got to change it up a bit. We have to sell players. Moore, mate, I know I did a, a, a tea a couple of days ago, but I think you need to leave to get game time. I want... You'll actually know, keep, stay at Tottenham Hotspur, I'm changing my mind in a second, stay at Tottenham Hotspur, get some game time next season in the league because you're not going to have any place in it, fam. You're not going to have any place at Tottenham Hotspur. You're not going to have a place at Tottenham Hotspur. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, by the way, I just want to say thank you so much for two subscribers who subscribe to the YouTube channel. Appreciate it loads. Um, Road to 500. Who knows when we can do it? Who knows? Um, so we're going to continue with the transfer news um, regarding Rafinha and Richardson. So, what is it worth it for Tottenham to do, be doing all these sales? I mean, um, Tottenham have been very live in the transfer window this summer. Uh, we have signed Basuma, we have signed Foster, we have signed Persic. You know, three great transfers. But can Tottenham sign both Rafinha and Richardson? We're talking about 150 mil. We are going to be spending this summer. Um, I didn't understand a new report Daniel Levy uh, put out 
beforehand. But it was something interesting along the lines of he's withdrawn the money that he was supposed to put in and he put it in. Uh, yeah, something like that. I don't, we didn't really understand the point of it, but it was along the lines of, yeah, 100 mil in, 150 mil out. Didn't understand it, but I know what you all are here for. You all are here for Rafinha news. Um, so let me just give it to you guys, the Rafinha news. Obviously, we'll just do a little bit of a recap on what we just said. So, um, Tottenham Hotspur have been linked with Rafinha. There's no secret about that. Everyone knows that. Um, there's nothing to um, to hide in that uh, point of view. Uh, the one thing that there is to hide is that, um, is it worth Tottenham to get both of them? Is it worth Tottenham to actually have um, both of these players um, in, in, their, in their team? I mean, Rafinha costs a lot of money. Um, Richarlison costs a lot of money. Um, Perisic, a free, so yeah, well, I mean, it was a free. Um, but Bastoni, if we do sign him, potentially just putting that out there, if we do sign him sometime, a lot of money. Um, uh, this Cavadio Donny, a lot of money. Um, who else? We got a lot of money, but can we spend around 120 mil on Rafinha and Charleston? Is it worth Tottenham Hotspur to put in that much money for them both? My personal opinion, I think no, no, absolutely not, absolutely not, 100% not, because. You know, we're playing with attacking football and to have loads of players in right now with, you know, especially when Harry Kane's not going to be dropped. Sonny's not going to be dropped. That's guaranteed too. So that means only seven, only six can play because we have eight attackers. Two of them are guaranteed in. Just doing a little bit of massive relief. Six stay. Um, anyway, so Kulisevsky is practically nailed on for the starting 11. But if he fights, and that, that's important, just so you guys have an understanding, you have to fight for your space at Tottenham Hotspur. You can't be like Serge Aurier, who, you know, he got, he, he got game time, even if he was crap. He got game time. You know, he could be giving 10 red cards in one game. I, don't, I know it's impossible. He could give literally like 15 red cards in one game and still play the next game. It's like, how did you just do that? Um, Emerson Royal, Matt, Matt Doherty, before Emerson Royal came, was getting all the game time. I mean, I mean, like, freely, because he didn't have anyone to compete with. Now that he's got Emerson Royal to compete with, he's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a um, fighting. I mean, I think Sergio was there when, Matt, when we bought Matt Doherty. Whatever. Point is that we need to sign a right back, a right wing back. We need to sign a left centre back. We need to sign a striker. We need to sign a right winger. Um, but is it, it's Rafinha the right... Is Rafinha the right one, though? Um... I, in my opinion, I think he's the, exactly the right one. We see how normally how he plays is he goes all the way to the left hand side and plays there, gets the ball, drags all the defenders outward like that. Just literally, all the defenders go outwards on him. Let's Harry Kane can, can allow Harry Kane to run in and literally score. Done, done, dusted. Boom. We can have so many more goals. Um, just want to check how many goals Rafinha has had um, for, for uh, Leeds um, this season. I mean, he, he, he's been insane for, for, for Leeds. I mean, we're talking about a, a Leeds team who's conceded uh, probably around, I think, I think Leeds, how many goals have Leeds conceded? Leeds conceded, um, um, I'm pretty sure they've conceded 40-something. 2.8 goals per Game? Are you mad? How crazy that is! Two point eight goals per game. That's like mental. Two point eight game with goals per game. You know that's a guaranteed loss. And then we're talking about you know Leeds. Um, uh, how many goals Leeds they conceded? Um, they conceded seventy nine goals. That is crazy. They scored forty two goals. That's fair enough. Eleven of them came from what's his face from Afinia. Boom. Unbelievable player. And still conceded 79 goals. That is mad. Just want to, you know, um, uh, compare it to Tottenham. Uh, if we look at how many Tottenham, um, how many goals Tottenham Hotspur have conceded this season. They conceded, um, the Tottenham Hotspur were third in the year. Uh, how many goals, um, not sure how many goals. Tottenham did score those 69 goals. Okay, fine. Here, here we go. Best compare, best com uh, compare, sixty nine goals. Pretty sure. Yep, sixty nine goals. Tottenham also have comes out of school. A fantastic. Can I keep keep on hitting it? Sixty nine goals. 
Rafinha's team, what's his name, Leeds, they've conceded 71 goals in this season. 79 goals this season. Tono have scored more goals. They, they, sorry, Leeds have almost conceded the same amount of goals that Tono have scored. <coughs> I think that's mad, honestly. Um, but yeah, so I think that's going to be it for today's live. Please, can you all guys just rate this, this stream? I know, I know, I know. There's a lot of people watching. There was there was three people literally watching a second ago. Can you guys just rate the live and 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 we can end here? Uh, if Mov, if Moff Gel is watching still, rate the live. We're gonna end off once someone rates the live, um, and then yeah, we're, that's where that's where we're, that's where we we'll end off. Um, so rate the live, um, and we will end off um right there. So we're gonna wait for someone to rate the live. Uh, if not, we'll just rate it for ourselves. Uh, and um, yeah, so whatever you think the live deserves, you guys go for it, go rate it. Um, personally, I think it gets a 7.5. I think you did an excellent job today. Uh, got a lot of people in. Um, interesting to see how many people actually joined us. We'll see at the end. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the news today. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, and well, yeah, let's carry on. Let's carry on to say, you know, Hope Tottenham at Super can win a Champions League. And, um, well, it's been God knows how long since Tottenham won a trophy. So we just need to keep on backing up the boys, backing the boys, making sure that they can do it. Because um, I'm pretty sure that they can do it. I mean, they, it's not like they haven't been able to do it. Um, so, Moff Gel, thanks for joining. You're the only one who commented in this stream today. Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, thanks so much for the two new subscribers that we got today. Um, let's just check if we got any more new subscribers just before we end this incredible live that was today. Um, no, but that's really it for today's live. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. And as always, Tottenham to Champions League final. Come on, Spurs.